In 14 BBY, various survivors of the anti-atrocity and other malcontents joined together under the leadership of the former Captain Birch Teller, who organized them into a rebel cell intent on stalling the development of the Emperor's newest weapon under construction at Geonosis. After stealing the Carrion Spike, an advanced starship based on a prototype stealth corvette used during the Battle of Christophsis during the Clone Wars, the rebels wreaked havoc across numerous star systems including Lucasets, Galadron III and Nuane all while transmitting holovids of their attacks on Imperial holonet frequencies, increasing anti-Imperial propaganda across thousands of mid- and outer rim star systems before the Empire was able to shut down the communications grid. After lengthy fleet redeployments and the discovery of a mole within the Imperial ranks, Tarkin, aboard the Imperial-class Star Destroyer Executrix, managed to disable the rebel warship and capture the dissidents after a brief battle and timely arrival of Star Destroyer's compliant and enforcer. To reward Tarkin's skill, the Emperor promoted him to the newly created rank of Grand Moff and gave him command of the Executrix as well as oversight of the Outer Rim territories, all while the recent attacks on Imperial facilities were made to look like an elaborate plot to root out rebel cells. The Empire had effectively dealt with a potentially disastrous situation, rooted out a traitor and kept details regarding the development of its superweapon at Geonosis a mere rumor. The Emperor's long-term plan was to allow what he called the skeleton of the Republic, to remain in place until the Death Star was completed. This included maintaining the Senate to make the systems believe that they still had a part to play in the government. However, upon the superweapon's completion, the Emperor planned to dissolve the Senate and grant its legislative and administrative powers to the military-industrial complex. The Death Star would also provide order to the galaxy, as part of Grand Moff Wilhuff Tarkin's Doctrine of Terror by making its inhabitants too afraid to defy an imperial command and stand against the empire.